Celebrating four years of talk like you've never heard it before, this is GabNet, the Great American Broadcast Network. Here comes singing Jimmy. Oh, wait a minute. That's not what I wanted to do. Wait a minute. Hold on a second. Here we are. And yeah, I fucked up. What? I have, I, who cares if I screwed up? Nobody's listening anyway. Is that, uh, is that uh, nasty enough for you? Okay. Well, if we want to really get nasty, we'll do that in about 25 minutes from right now. But for the meantime, let's go check in with somebody we really care about. Ladies and gentlemen, there she is. She's in Oregon, Portland. Well, actually, <laughs> Lake Oswego. <laughs> it's my ex-wife. You know, and normally people don't even talk to their ex-wives, but somehow every two weeks I do. So, you know, that's the kind of guy I am. Hey, uh, and I talk to you. I mean, that's even the bigger. <laughs> well, considering our marriage, you're, I'm lucky you do talk to me. <laughs> so, <laughs> it was a long time ago. It was a long time ago, and we're very forgiving people. Okay. Uh, this is uh, Ronnie Bennett. She has a, a blog called timegoesby.net. And uh, if you go there, you'll find out the depressing facts of what it's like to get older and some of the positive facts as well. Tell me something I good think, about getting I older. I think that it's not. A, it, it, I don't think it's a negative blog. No, I don't think it is either. But, I mean, when I say it's timegoesby.com, it's about what it's like to get older, everybody's immediately going to think, oh, that's got to be uplifting. Well, you know. the problem was, and I mean, you know, briefly, why I started it's been a 15 years I didn't realize that till recently um, was because I was trying to find out what it was going to be like to get old and I was doing a lot of reading and <laughs> and everything 15, 20 years ago when I started was just awful whether it was popular stuff or medical stuff they only said awful things about getting old to the point where you think well just shoot yourself I mean once you hit 40 or 50 you might as well and so that's why I started the blog, because I didn't think it could possibly be that bad. Yeah. And it's not. Okay, what's the best thing about getting older? I want to know. I'm more relaxed about everything. I don't get as exercised over things that go wrong. Okay, that's you. Okay, go ahead. I'm not you. <laughs> <laughs> but a lot of people say that. Well, you know me. You know me because... You know, you were married to me, uh, so you know me. And uh, the thing that you don't, uh, you must remember, is that I stress over everything. And so uh, that stressing over everything uh, has caused a situation in which, uh, as I get older, all the things that you were when you were younger amplify themselves. You become more of a caricature of yourself as you get older. You really think so? Oh, absolutely. You don't drop any of that stuff? No, I, I, I was talking to a Harry Shearer once mm -hmm. about, and I said, what's the hardest impression to do? And he said, somebody when they're young. He said, I can do the old Bob Hope, I can't do the young Bob Hope. He said, I, I can do the, uh, you know, the, the old uh, so-and-so, but I can't do the, I can do the old John Wayne, but I can't do the young John Wayne. Sorry to interrupt, but did you see Matt Damon? As Brett yes, Kavanaugh? Yes. He was, yes. He was terrific. The only thing he didn't get right, he had the nose thing. You know, yeah. That, that and thing. the mouth that yeah. always turns no, down. But they didn't get this part. Oh, I don't I don't remember that oh, part. Oh, his tongue was lot? his tongue was just like almost ripping his mouth apart. Oh yeah? Yeah. He did a great job. I really He did a I terrific job. That was a very, very funny bit, you know. But then again, we don't like Brett Kavanaugh, so we found it funny. I wonder how people who like Brett Kavanaugh found it. You know, we haven't heard from them. Yeah, we haven't heard from them. Uh, you know, I mean, quite frankly, I think from everything that I've been able to ascertain, and I'm just sitting here watching television, this guy's pretty much a sleazebag. You know? 
Privileged. Male privilege. Male privilege and the kind of guy I would have hated in high school. You know, I would have hated anywhere if I had met him in life. Um, you think you do. Man, women are going... <laughs> women have pretty much had enough. Yeah. You're a little out of sync today, folks. I don't know why she's out of sync, but all of a sudden she's gone out of sync. Well, I'm more looking at your picture. You're not out of sync. Well, yeah. 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 I don't know what to tell you about that. I don't know how you how you stop this out of syncness, but uh, it, it sometimes it just cures itself. Anyway, listen to the audio, folks. Anyway, <laughs> so where was I? Oh, yeah. So, I mean, this was the kind of guy I, you know, anywhere in life I would have found him objectionable. I mean, he's just, and when he got mad the other day, that should have said to everybody, I don't want this on the Supreme Court. This guy's a loose cannon. But no, here you got uh, Grassley. Now, you and I have a big argument. I think Grassley it should have retired years ago. <laughs> you know, but he just sits up there doddering his way. I know you hate what I'm I saying. I don't think he is doddering. And I think it's okay to be old and do what he's doing. I don't happen to agree with him most of the time, but that's a separate issue. That's not about being old. Well, I happen to think uh, uh, Feinstein is getting a, long in, a little long in the tooth, you know. Well, that's okay. She's still doing fine. Well, you know, I just think that, uh, uh, we, we, uh, well, you and I are going to argue <laughs> about this forever. I just think that as, you, uh, you know, I would prefer some younger politicians, not really young. I mean, Obama young, a little older than that, because I think they have more contemporary values and let's face it when these guys are making laws they're not making them to affect you and i how long are you and i going to be around they're doing it to affect people who are in their 30s and 40s and uh well, I, I, hopefully that they're taking into consideration the attributes of all americans yeah you're in sync again by the way uh <laughs> the attributes of all americans yes yeah. Sometimes there are laws that affect children. Sometimes there are laws that affect old people. The Republicans want to essentially do away with Medicare and Social Security. That's not so good for old people. And so on. I mean, there it, it's many ages have to be dealt with in um, governing the country in, in all the many ways governing goes on. Yeah, but I somehow feel that... Uh, uh, you know that that there's a there's something to be said for somebody being more contemporary and and having a uh, out of the box view of things. I think as oh, we get stop older, the out of the box. Well, no, That's about twenty uh, years old. Tell me, tell me, you don't. Tell me, you wonderful as people think. Tell me, you don't. As an older person, think less out of the box than you used to. I don't know what out of the box means. Out of the box means that there are certain ways of doing things, and somehow. You're out of the box, and you can see a new way of doing it. You, you can know. do that at any age. Uh, I, some people become old farts at, at 25. But I'm, I, you know, what I'm talking some about. Some people invent wonderful new things at 70. Okay, uh, it, as I've gotten older, I mean, I've always liked to think of myself as an innovator. I could always come up with a new idea. I always said people can steal my ideas as fast as they can steal them. I can create them. Okay. Uh, and now that I'm older, it's just a little bit harder to think outside that box. You know, I mean, it here, I, it, I'll give it, you an example. That doesn't mean you don't. I'll give you an example. I'm doing the Internet, okay? Uh, I'm not doing the Internet. I'm doing a radio program on the Internet, mm -hmm. or what I've been doing is a radio program. But the Internet needs a different set of values, needs a different way of doing things. And so those kids who somehow know how to do it are getting all the hits right you know some girl some young girl in her i think 14 or 15 who was giving out makeup tips at a hundred million views go figure that young one 14 year old girls want to know about makeup there are a lot of them uh, <laughs> they like to see their own age people all that I, doesn't make what you do bad uh it makes it makes it harder for me to figure out what I should be doing in the world of the Internet to, to, to make the best use out of the Internet and to be able to uh, come up with new ideas for the Internet 
that are internet specific. Okay, all I'm doing is a radio program on the internet, and that's not using Which is the internet. about what 99.9 percent of people who put videos up online are doing. It's we talk to each other with pictures. I guess, I guess I I know a guy. There's one guy. Uh, I have to admit, I still play video games. It's just Good one man. of my. It's one of my things. Uh, I have a friend who every Wednesday night gets together with friends. Yeah, and they they play. World of Warcraft. Oh well, that, that that's that that's old school. I mean, I play Tomb Raider. I like to kill people and climb trees. Oh, uh, yes, you're and, so cool. Then and, and um, there, so I don't understand completely how to get through some of these games. So I go online and there's this guy named the Rad Brad, who takes a game like Tomb Raider, the latest t- Tomb Raider, and goes through the whole game and plays it online. Half a million views. You know? I, you know, I've never played an online video game. I don't even know how to react to that. And I have to admit something. I actually enjoy watching him play it. But, I, you know, I, I'm sorry. I just don't know what that means. It, it's just I'm ignorant of it completely. Yeah. See? That's because you're, you're old. That's because you're old. watching somebody play Monopoly. That, that, I mean. That's because that's you're old. <laughs> It's okay to be old. I don't mind. I don't have to know everything young people do. You know what? I, uh, I've said this before. I think the worst thing about getting old, and you people should be listening who are younger because we're warning you, it's coming, <laughs> uh, is that um, you become invisible. You become invisible well, to other people. Women have a much worse trouble with that, much worse problem with that than men. Old women it or starts, women in general? No, no, no. It starts for women at about 35 that people don't see you anymore. Yeah. 35, 40. But it's like, you know, I mean, uh, nobody pays. Obviously, they don't see me. I don't even get the benefit, which I thought was one going to be one of the benefits of being 78 going on 79 years. That when I got on a subway train and it was full, somebody would get up and give me their seat. Never. Once. Once in the oh, last. Oh, the last time I was in New York, the first subway ride I took, somebody did that. <laughs> Really? Maybe I look older than you do. Uh, maybe, maybe. All I know is they, they, uh, and what I hate most of all, okay, are these mothers with their fucking kids. And you know, there's a, there's a, there's a line that goes: if you ride for free, you must sit on a knee. Meaning, well, meaning it, little kids. Have little to kids, ride. if you get them for free, should sit on a knee. No, they got them sitting, taking up a seat I could take. Oh, do you feel like you've got to sit down and not stand, huh? And then if I were to complain about it, they go, ah, he's just an old fart. That's right. <laughs> well, that, you're asking me what's bad about being old. That's some of the things that's bad well, about being you know old. The opposite is true for teenagers. Nobody takes them seriously. And I really remember way back when I was a teenager how f- I thought I was pretty smart. I thought that I had useful opinions. And nobody, no grown-ups would pay any attention to me. And I looked much younger than I was. Finally, by the time I hit 30, I looked like a grown-up. Yeah. And people started to take me seriously. But I was really pissed off all the years leading up to that, that no one would pay attention to me. So it happens all through your life, you know? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. But, you know, I mean, I, um, uh, it, it just, I don't know, I just want some of those benefits. I got a benefit. This weekend, I got okay. a benefit. Went up to Vermont, took a plane, which I, uh, air travel, you know, for a short trip like that, I just don't even want to go, okay? Because, <laughs> I understand. I because understand. getting out to the airport and... Uh, uh, it takes longer to get to the, the airport than to get there. Yeah, then, oh, the, the flight's only 45 minutes. Okay, and, so it takes, and when did you have to leave home to be there to get I on had the plane? The, it was a it was a, what a one o'clock flight flight. We left at eleven. Yes. <laughs> right, and then we have to go through uh, uh, a TSA, uh, which is like you take off every article of clothing, <laughs> and then try and figure out where you put it all. Like I don't remember where I put my keys. I don't remember. What, couldn't find my wallet, you know, everything. It just all gets into disarray because it all goes into these buckets, okay? But the one thing I found out coming back, I didn't know, know going, but coming back, if you're over 75, you don't have to take your shoes off. 
I wonder what that means. Oh, maybe they think old people can't bend over. Yeah, so that's the benefit, ladies and gentlemen, <laughs> of being older. When you get to 75, you don't have to take your shoes off at TSA anymore. So they think if you're that old, too, that you won't have a shoe bomb. Yeah. Like, there was only one shoe bomb in the history of the world. <laughs> and it didn't even go off. It burned the guy's feet. Okay? Right. And f ever since then... How many hours have been taken up with people taking their shoes off, you know, and running them through the scanner? I mean, come on. Come on. Anyway, I think, but that's... I think the worst part is having to leave home many hours longer to get to the airport than it takes to get there on the airplane. Yeah, well, I just I think it was just uh, uh, a wonderful thing that, that that was the one benefit. That's it. That's it. You know, that and senior tickets at movie theaters, which would cost too much anyway, even if you're getting a senior. You know. A senior ticket, if you're going to a 3D movie at the Comfy Chair Theater where we go. At the what? Comfy Chair Theater. <clears throat> uh -huh. so they have these lounge chairs, you know, the kind of chairs you say you'll never put in your living room, but you go to a movie <laughs> theater to sit in it. And... Um, um, uh, though it costs us uh, twenty one dollars a ticket per person. See, I don't go to movies and theaters anymore. Twenty one dollars, so. yeah, yeah, and that's for a senior ticket. Oh, what a be what a midlife people. Oh, by pay. the way, the cab back and forth costs us about twenty five. <laughs> so by the time we're through, it better be a goddamn good fucking movie. What did you see? Well, no, it's not any particular film I'm talking about now. Oh, okay. But I've gone to some that were pretty horrid, and I went, you know, I, we just blew like close to $80. Oh, with the popcorn. We forgot the popcorn. Oh, which, how much is popcorn these days? Uh, popcorn's up to about seven, $8 for a bucket, <laughs> which we have to... They let you bring your own. <laughs> oh, you know, you can't bring your own. If you brought your own, they would tell you, I'm sorry, you have to leave that outside the theater. And I'm going... How would they know? I wish I were a lawyer because there's a suit there. Oh, stop it. There's a it's suit there. It's not worth there. the effort. <laughs> it's not worth the effort, believe me. You know, I want a good lawyer like Brett Kavanaugh. That's who I got to get. You know. <laughs> what do you think about him? I said he was a cre he's a creep. He's just a creep. I just, you know... Everything, I mean, I believed her. You Hard know. not to. You know, I mean, yeah, I mean, she could have been mistaken about who it was, but I doubt it. You know, but the event did happen to her. I have no question about that. And uh, she was 100% sure it was Brett Kavanaugh. So I, you know, I believe her over him. I mean, I, he wasn't credible. How was he credible? He wouldn't, you know, every time they asked him the question about... You know, would you go for an FBI investigation? His answer was, I'll do whatever the committee wants to do. Well, the committee's nothing but fucking Republicans, okay? What they I want to do is... I thought he was embarrassing. That. Yes. You know, when he turned, he was there to answer questions from the senators. And when he turned around Dianne Feinstein's question, I was embarrassed for him. It was so awful. You just out of out of pure politeness in the situation in a in a Senate hearing room with a bunch of senators there with the announced purpose. Everybody knew why everybody the, was he there. He did the same thing. And he, to, instead yeah. of answering the question, he says, what about you? He did and this, he kept insisting on it. He did the same thing to an, another female senator where mm -hmm. he said, she said, asked him, have you ever blacked out? And he said, have you? Have you? I think I mean, that was her question. Yeah. No, that wasn't Feinstein's question. It was another one. The other, I'm trying to remember her name now. Doesn't matter. Uh, but anyway, she asked him if he ever blacked out, and his answer was, well, have you? Well, wait a minute. This isn't about her. It's about you. And, and you know, and she finally. That's what was so embarrassing is that he didn't behave in a normal way, and he was so belligerent. I almost thought he was drunk. Yeah. Well, I just don't know, you know. And then I hear these senators praise, heaping praise on him. Uh, these Republicans, uh, like Lindsey Graham, was embarrassing. Well, see, I think Lindsey did that on purpose. Nobody said that that well, I know of. He's all, and he, I think that was just. I don't think he was really that angry. I think that he decided to do that to make as big an impression 
as Dr. Well, they say he was audition. What, whatever her name was. Um, and I also think that... Um, they say he was auditioned. Kavanaugh yeah. talked to Trump before he testified. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. And Trump told him how to behave. I think that's what he it gave was. Too him, much like Trump is. Yeah, it was Trumpized. Yes, and and he also, when he first came in, or at some point somewhere, he answered a question that no, he had not watched um, the woman's testimony in the morning, and then later he said he did, or vice versa. But he he gave both answers: yes, I did, and no, I didn't which is pretty indicative of a whole lot of questions he answered without, let's just say, full truthfulness. Right, right. And that's, to me, that is frightening in a potential Supreme Court judge. Yeah, yeah. Well, I mean, that's the thing that bothered me most about him, uh, was, you know, this guy's going to sit on the bench, and I don't think he has the temperament to sit on the bench. I mean, if that was a job interview, he pa- he didn't pass it. You wouldn't pass it in any company in America with that attitude, you know, of suddenly somebody uh, said something about you that you didn't like and you responded in that manner. I, see, I thought that was a Trump trait. That's why I think he talked to Trump, because Trump always responds that way if somebody says something negative about him. Yeah. And most people don't. And or most at least most people in the public, I don't. Right. And um, that he did in, in, a, in almost exactly the same manner as Trump does when the, in a similar situation made me think he's been, Trump has been coaching him you know, before he went into the Senate hearing room. <laughs> <laughs> oh, boy. Well, it just, it, 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 this is all, all a gift that keeps on giving. What I was going to say about Lindsey Graham was I think he was auditioning for attorney general. Is what I think That's he was doing. That's what people are saying, yes. Yeah. You know, I heard or read somewhere that 20% of the population of the country watched that hearing last Thursday. Mm-hmm. 20%. And that's huge. I mean, you have to take away all children. You don't count them because they were in school. Yeah. And probably weren't watching it. Maybe in high school they allowed it. Right. But in general, children don't watch that kind of thing. So out of all the grown-ups, which is, would make it an even bigger percentage of the full population, watch that. I was surprised. Mm-hmm. I think, given that it's a work day in the middle of the day, yeah. that that many people watched, um, I was surprised there was that much interest. Right, right. There was, but there was. It was it, yeah. it, I, I would imagine that almost every television set you could come across um, uh, had that on it, you know? Uh, because I mean, it was it was compelling television. I mean, I, I, in a way, I walked away this weekend. I was thinking about. It, I said, "This is maybe the biggest event of this sort I've ever seen in my life." Even over Anita Hill. Even over Anita Hill, this was far more dramatic. I mean, she got up, made her statements, was dismissed, and that was it. But this had a uh, a, a bite to it that. And also, yeah, I've never seen so many heroes in one place at the same time in a Senate hearing. First of all, you had Dr. Ford, who I think is an absolute hero. And then you had Flake, who for some reason knew how to do the right thing. He knew how to play both sides of the fence and do oh, the and right thing. Oh, not until two young women yelled at him in an elevator. <laughs> I don't know that that's what did it. I think he said it's not, but I don't. I, I mean, it was almost immediately afterwards that he came out I mean, and, and reversed himself about all this. So, I, I, and he also is still saying that he still might vote for Kavanaugh. Really? Well, well, he might vote for Kavanaugh if if the, if the FBI uh, thing comes out to exonerate him or to at least uh, not What's substantiate. Exonerate? This is not a legal proceeding. I know, but it, it, what 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 happens is that the. It's going to be up to the Congress. Each of the members of Congress are going to get a copy of the report. And then mm-hmm. they're going to have to determine for themselves, does this report but exonerate? But they'll do it like they always do. They'll get the report and vote five minutes later. Well, so they'll, they'll do like they always do. They'll get the report and have one an assistant read it. You know? No, they don't even do that. They vote in five minutes. Yeah, yeah. 
Yeah. So, there was something I've long forgotten the subject, but it was one of those reports, you know, that's got a thousand pages in it, and it got handed out late in the day, and they voted first thing the next morning. Like they all sat up all night and read it. I don't think so. Uh, yeah. Well, the Republicans are yelling and screaming about we want to vote this week. We want to get this vote done. We've got to get this done. It's it's important that we speed this thing up. They didn't say that where Merrick Garland was concerned. No. You know, and these same people are yelling this now. We're yelling, oh, it's not right for us to go and listen to Merrick Garland because it's in a president in his last year. And you know the Biden rule? Well, it was a, something Joe Biden said. It wasn't a rule that somebody adhered to. You know? Ridiculous. That's true. Just ridiculous. Listen to us. The whole country is like this talking about this. Oh, yeah. You can't I stop talking about didn't, it. Ex when, except for Anita Hill, I can't think of any time that a Supreme Court nomination caused this much <laughs> conversation <laughs> and turmoil. Oh, yeah, no, this is, uh, and even Anita Hill, I don't think in general made as much for talking points as this did, you know. Uh, I mean, this was dramatic. This, you know, with, with uh, especially once, uh, once uh, Frat Boy came in and started talking, uh, it was it was very entertaining to see this guy going into a flop sweat. Uh, he he's you know anybody who would believe that testimony is crazy, just crazy. Well, we, well, we've got a lot of those people apparently. Well, we've run out of time, even though we could talk about this for the next three hours. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. I'm not sure I said anything that. Everybody else hasn't said. Well, uh, we're saying things that probably people who agree with us agree with, and those people who don't agree with us are saying we're both full of shit. So, you know. Well, I got an email the other day from someone I never heard of, a reader. Yeah. Um, who said she liked my blog, but I should keep my political opinions to myself. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> my blog, I say what I want. My blog... What I want to say, I say, you know, and if you don't like it, I, my attitude is I have a guy on my show who's a big right wing Republican, insanely Republican. OK, uh, defends everything Trump does. Uh, and they write me and they say he's on almost every night. And I like it because he's balanced. He's All a right? call in, you mean? He's a call in. See, it, 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 his name is Phil. And, and he, he provides balance. So people write me and they go. I'm never going to watch you until you get rid of Phil. And I go, well, nice to know you, because I'm not going to keep somebody off the show because the audience doesn't like him. Have you noticed, I don't get very many right-wing people commenting on my blog because over the years they are so nasty and they attack other commenters or me in a very nasty way. And you don't get to do that more than once on my blog. You do it once and you are banned forever. Right. Uh, so we don't have a lot of that on my blog um, because that will ruin any forum. Yeah. If, if you have people doing that all the time, it will just go to hell and nobody can right. have a conversation. So I banned them instantly with no warning, no nothing. You're just gone. But um, uh, why do you think Republicans in general, and it's really high percentage, are so belligerent about everything they say, Compa particularly compared to Democrats? I have no idea. And with that... <laughs> <laughs> All right. It was, Time to go. With that, we'll say goodbye. A fond adieu. Uh, a bit of fond adieu. I bid $20. To uh, uh, Ronnie Bennett, who is no... Uh, it, it, it's no uh, coincidence that we both have the same last name, only it's her real last name because she adopted it legally and I never have. Uh Thank you, Ronnie. We'll talk to you in a couple of weeks. Thank you. We'll talk soon. Ladies and gentlemen, Ronnie Bennett is timegoesby.net. Celebrating four years of talk like you've never heard it before, this is GabNet, the Great American Broadcast Network. And that's what ex-wives sound like. And uh, she's, uh, I'm very proud of her. She's uh, done some good stuff with her life and, uh, uh, hopefully there will be much, much more of it, okay? And uh, we talk to her every couple of weeks, and I hope you enjoy it. I enjoy it. Uh, I never thought I would say that about talking to an ex-wife, but because uh, I, well, I talked to one other 
Uh, but uh, we don't have her on here because she's not. She has nothing to say, okay? I'm not being mean when I say that. She just has nothing to say. Hey, I just saw some lightning going on outside. Oh, it's going to be lightning and thunder here in uh, the great uh, Manhattan. Oh, boy. Oh, well. Anyway, the, uh, the Skype lines are now open, ladies and gentlemen, for what we call the Citizens Panel. I may have to adjust it. I had, uh, I had some, something go a little bit wrong today, and I had to readjust it, and I'm not sure if it's readjusted perfectly, but we'll hope that it is. But our lines are open, and we're waiting for you to call. I uh, went away for the weekend to Vermont. Uh, in a couple of days, as soon as I'm few, through uh, editing it, I'll have a, a video of the vacation. Uh, we, uh, we, got, we have these friends who live up in Vermont, and every year they invite us to come up for a weekend. And we go up for a weekend. It's a very expensive weekend. I mean, flying, even JetBlue, I don't know how much the total cost was, but uh, it was somewhere in the area of $500 or something like that. <clears throat> and, um, but we had a, 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 a wonderful time. And uh, I will uh, tell you more about it as we go on. But I'm just waiting for somebody to call now so that we can, uh, we can get this thing going. Uh, we use Skype. I say dreadfully. Well, uh, uh, oops, oops. Oh, wait a minute. Hold on a second. Hold on. They ignore that one. Oh, oh excuse me. Hold on. I'm tr uh, I have a problem here. It's opening up my other Skype, and I don't want it to open up my other Skype. Oh, boy. Hold on a second. We'll get, we'll get to this in a second. Uh, ba -ba 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 Let me uh, do something here. Um, wow. How do I get rid of that? Huh. Uh, that's amazing. Every time somebody calls, it's going to go try and have me answer it on. Uh, uh, okay, Scott, call me again, will you? Call me again. Uh, let's see if I if I can do it by answering the other one or one of the other. Okay, Scott, give me a call. Uh, Scott Boddicker was trying to call me, and uh, I uh, for some reason I have two I have two um, Skypes here. Uh, on the on the system and I don't want both Skypes on the system. So What do I do? Let me see here uh, Delete well, Let me see what happens if I answer it here No, I don't want that. I don't want that. Oh God, I don't want that um, call, call me again Scott. Well, wait a minute. Here comes Here comes Phil. Okay. Now, I, uh, if I just answer that one and not the other one, and I'm going to have to, I'm going to have to delete this other Skype. Let me see here. How do I delete it? What is that, it? the uh, new or the old? The new, but I have it, I had it on here. Uh, I'll, uh, let me see here. Hold on a second. Uh, da -da 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 I don't know what to do here. How I can possibly um, close it down. Um, store previous versions, kind of delete. I don't want to delete it. Uh, properties. What is it here? Uh, general. Uh, no. I, I don't know why. Oh, I know where I could probably get rid of it. Hold on a second. I'm going to see here. Uh, I, okay. Oh, okay, if I add Scott, then I don't have that, but I want to get rid of that. Uh, so, uh, let me see here. I want to delete it. Skype. Got him. Is there Skype? Is that Skype? No. That's Skype online. Let me see if I can get rid... No, I ha that one is the one that's on that's going right now. Son it's working bitch. now because she got Scott. I know, I know, but the other one will keep ringing every time somebody calls. Oh, that's and crazy. Can you sign out of the other one? Uh, I probably have to get rid of the other one uh, and delete it. Oh, boy. Because I was working on it today. 
Uh, let me see here. Uh, let me just, uh, let me just, uh, hell, I'll delete it. Screw it. Um, delete it. Okay, it's now deleted. Let's see if it, if, and, let me, and let me go somewhere else here to make sure it's deleted. That's Skype. Uh, that's the Skype. That's the other Skype. Oh, boy. I don't know what, uh, wait a minute. Uninstall. Now, I don't know which one that is. That's the problem. <laughs> so I, you know, I would uninstall it, but uh, let me see here. No, it doesn't, it doesn't say which one it is. That's the problem I have. Do you want me to hang up and call back and see if it gets answered by the uh, one that we're on now? Uh, uh, no. Uh, right. Let me see here. Well, I'm going to try uninstalling. Let me see here. Hold on a second. Let me see here. Hold on a moment. Let me see. Skype. It's the white one, the, the blue one. Okay. I don't want the blue one. Okay, here we go. Here we oh, go. Oh, you want the Skype. red one. Here, I want the blue one. <laughs> Uninstall it. Okay, uninstall or change program. Let's see here. Uh, what it, what, what's the name of the program? Skype. Skype. Uh, Skype. Ah, there's the version I want to get rid of. Okay, there we go. Uh, now, how do I uninstall it? Uninstall this. Are you on a Windows machine? Okay, yeah. Yeah, I'm getting rid of uh, it. I'm getting rid of it. You go to that. I'm getting rid of it. Okay. Skype was successfully. There we go. And are you guys still on? No. I somehow it got rid of the wrong one. Oh, boy. Folks, hold on a second. Let me just set up the old Skype again. Boy, we're having a real problem here. Uh, am, am I, and, and, and this isn't, oh boy, uh, cancel, okay, all right, all right, let me see here, I agree, no, I don't want, make Bing my search engine, no, make MSN my homepage, no, this won't take long, we're updating your Skype, okay, here we go, here we go. Come on. Is that it? There we go. We're up now. Not now. Now, how do I, how do I get my, uh, where is, oh, oh, no. Oh, boy. I'm, this is ridiculous. Okay, I want to get rid of the other one, do I? What do I want to do? Hold on a second, folks. I'm having trouble. Uh, okay. I'm having trouble because it got rid of the other one, but it, 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 it didn't get rid of the one I wanted to get rid of. Well, let's, uh, let's see how the show goes tonight with, uh, with circles. No, I don't want to do that. This isn't go going with circles. No, I don't, I don't want to do that. No. I, see. I don't want to do that. Yeah, fucking I know you don't want him. But... Fucking Skype. Jeez almighty. <laughs> Let me see. Uninstall. Now, what happens if they give me the list of things to uninstall? App that it's related info will be uninstalled. And also, I think I can't find my OBS studio. Oh, no. That's the other thing. If I if, if launch anyway. Okay, I'll launch it anyway. There we go, and, and now, um, oh boy, I can't even, I can't do that, use that one. <sighs> you want to take a few minutes, we'll uh, leave you alone, and you can do what you got to do. Uh, let me, uh, I'm going to have to sign off and start over again. This, All right. Yeah, this, I think. I, I, All right. I, I, I'm, I'm completely flummoxed on this whole deal. I have no idea what we do or how we do it. Uh, I, I, well, you've been gone I, for a few days, I, I mean, but uh, hold, hold you know what? Second. Don't don't worry about it. I we'll lost, all live. Wait a minute. Hold on a second. <laughs> I lost my. Oh, here's the OBS. There we go. I got the OBS back. Okay. 
All right. Well, uh, and uh, I just don't know how to get rid of that other Skype. It, re it refuses to uh, leave my machine. It's been, uh, uh, well, we'll, it's find virulent. Out, we'll find out when somebody else calls what happens here, you know. Uh, but it's, it's, it's really just am amazingly bad. It's evil. It's evil. That's what yeah. it is. It's evil. Hey, uh, you see hey, that? you remember the old Swatch Watch? It was like a cheap piece of plastic, and yeah. uh, uh, pe right. people went crazy over it because they cost about $25. Yeah. Well, for the last two days, I've been wearing this. It's an Apple, uh, Apple Watch. Yeah. And, uh, you know... It's like a Swatch watch. It's a cheap piece of plastic. It doesn't feel good on. It, uh, you know, there. I love it. I, I, I know you love it. I, I don't see what you see in it, and uh, so I'm, I'm going back to my other watch, uh, you know, which is a real watch, not this uh, thing where you got to turn your, uh, you got to turn your wrist I'm about, to see the I'm time. About, oh. You got to touch it. Uh, you know, well, you're just old, you're just old fashioned. You, you aren't used to it. You know, I love it. I think it's the but, best. It's the one thing I've bought that I don't have buyer's remorse over. Well, uh, this one was Faze, and she wasn't using it, so I put the longer band on, yeah. and uh, and uh, unpaired it from her phone, which wasn't easy, and then yeah. paired it to my phone, which wasn't that easy either. And uh, now I've been wearing it for a couple of days. And it's not doing anything that makes it worth being a, a cheap piece of plastic on my hand. Yeah. You know, I, I, you know there's things for heartbeat. It's cute. It's a gimmick, you know. And, uh, you know, the face of the watch would be nice if it stayed on. Mm -hmm. you know? But um, I, I don't see what anybody sees in this thing. Well, it, uh, you're an idiot then. Because it, it's a terrific watch. I, I've, been, I've been called worse. No, it's a terrific watch. I, I find it uh, very, very useful. And so much so that I'm willing to go out and spend 660 bucks to get one of the new ones. It's a cellular. That's outrageous. Yeah, plus, ten, uh, plus another 120 bucks a year. No, yeah, 120 bucks a year for, yeah. And I'm willing to do it because I like it that much. I got a bridge in Brooklyn you might be interested in. <laughs> you know? Can I turn this air conditioning up more? Jeez almighty, everything is like against me tonight. Yeah, did the super come in and, and, uh, and prance around like the fairy godmother uh, no, with, no. And, no, you know, no, no, over no. the week that you were gone? No, 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 no. We're fine. All right. I have no idea why it, you know. I don't understand this, uh, this whole thing with Skype. It shouldn't be doing it. Here, watch. Jeff Stein has come online. He's going to call, and it's going to happen. We're well, get uh, with ding -a -ding 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 -ding. four, it's still Abbey Road. Yeah. And, uh, well, yeah, I'll, have so we, to, I'll have to live with that until I can right. figure out how to totally get rid of it. You know. Well, this is not bad. This is, you know, uh, quadrants, uh, unless it's different. No, I'm, uh, not using, I'm not using the new Skype, Phil. Oh. It's giving me that noise, and if I click on it, it'll bring up the new Skype, and I don't even have it on this machine. <laughs> I just got rid of it completely. It keeps coming back. It's like the gift that keeps on giving. Yeah. But well, it, yeah. let's see. Uh, now, I, will I see something different if I look at you on YouTube? No. It looks the same. No. Oh, it does? Okay. No, no, it's, it is not the new Skype that I'm using, Phil. <laughs> hey, take your aggressive liberal attitude and tone it down a little bit. Yeah, right. I didn't do anything to deserve that. Yes, you did. I'm trying Hello, to everybody. I'm, I, I'm trying to tell you that there is no problem with, we are using the old Skype. But the problem is, when somebody calls me, it rings on the new Skype as well as the old Skype. What did you say, young fella? <laughs> I understand. Yeah. All right. You're using the old Skype, but it's ringing on both of them. And yes. you can't see the, the, the other. And the new Skype 
I completely uninstalled from this mu m machine a few minutes ago, only it also did away with this, so I had to reinstall seven. Oh. Yeah. Wow. This, this is this, this this is fucking assholes over at uh, uh, over at uh, uh, Microsoft. M Microsoft. I got on this uh, support group or this group that was answering asking questions of of the Skype people. There we go. Really? They actually communicated with somebody. Yeah. Oh, there we go. There's there's uh, an extra one. Oh, well, here comes SG. SG. Yeah. yeah. Oh, not SG. You got a camera, SG? Yes. Turn it on. There we go. <laughs> He's in rare form. So, Alex, how was your trip to Vermont? It was, it was lovely until now. Yeah. Uh, well, you're not in Vermont. Yeah, I guess I can't yeah. blame this on Vermont. Okay. Uh, now, I saw, did you attend the polo match? Yes. With your other elites in in Vermont? Believe <laughs> me, this was not a polo match for elites. <laughs> yeah, did you wear one of those big hats? The only reason why polo, I found out, is so elite is because yeah. it's so fucking expensive to do. Really? You know, you, you can't have just a horse and a mallet. You got to have like three horses and a mallet because you can't uh -huh. use a horse for more than about three minutes before you have to change horses. Really? Yeah. I didn't. See, I learn something every day, don't I? Yeah. Well, it's, I, I never knew it was that aggressive. Oh, it, it is, well, the first day the first day we went, when I get the whole thing made, you'll see this. The first day we went, it looked like they were just kind of batting a ball around. Yeah. But the second day we went, they were actually playing. They were actually playing complete games and playing them aggressively. And it, it, you know, it was fun to watch. It was interesting to watch. Any black guys? No. No. Didn't see a single black polo player. Could, could you figure out the offsides in polo? Yeah, it's when the horse hit me. <laughs> <laughs> uh, you weren't playing. You were observing. No, right? but they have a little, like, a little, about this high thing. Uh, so you won't go over it. Uh, but the horses can; they just j walk over it, right? Yeah. But it's kind of like it, it's kind of like lacrosse. There are no black guys. It's just a white man's excuse for a sport. Well, it's not a white person's excuse for a sport. I just don't think I I can't imagine a black person being interested in polo. <laughs> you know, it just does. It has none of the attributes of other sports yeah. they, they don't go for skiing either but I, th this one woman who me? this one woman who yes, was, yeah, play, I can hear you right. who was oh, yes it is who was playing I who i uh, i heard you know um uh, uh was doing uh the um uh what was it uh, was was playing the polo and when she, and finally she stopped uh, she said, I got to quit. I'm exhausted. And I said really? to her, doesn't the horse do all the work? <laughs> and she says, no. <laughs> you know, it's an exhausting sport. She was just, she was red in the face and she was exhausted. I'd yeah. imagine. You know, the, the, the swing that mallet, it's, uh, you know, it's, that's a pretty full swing. And when you do it from on, uh, on a horse, uh, yeah. the... You know, the angle and, and everything that you're doing at, you're also trying to stay on the horse. Yeah, at the same <laughs> time. Uh, but, uh, you know, they, 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 they take the horses and they, uh, uh, they, 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 they're very good at, uh, at not wearing them out. You know? And mm. also this one horse she had was 20 years old. Wow. You know, so it, it doesn't have to be a young horse either. So. Oh. Another year it can vote for Bernie. Yeah. So, you know, <laughs> what am I going to do with this information now? Uh, what information? Your polo information? Uh, what does it say here? Uh, Rene writes, oh. it's a very expensive sport and color has nothing to do with it. America's racist. America's racist have arrived. What? I don't understand that. Oh, well. Uh, it's more dog whistles. Yeah. Yeah. No, there's a lot of there's a lot of sports where horses are older and better. 
like one one was called the Tevis. It's, it's out in California. It's a hundred mile race, and a lot of Arab horses are are in that race because they are uh, bred for uh, you know long distance. So it's it's not unusual to have uh, horses who are older in in something like that. You mean like Arabian horses? Yeah, Arabian horses. Right? Yeah. Oh, okay. All right. Yeah. Um, uh, oh, I know what it is. I still may have. Is that uninstall? No, it doesn't say uninstall on that one. Huh. This is really strange. I'm trying to figure out what what was causing it. What if I still have some uh, Skype going here that I don't know about? Well, that's all. That's that's the old Skype. That's the current Skype. Uh, I have no idea where my Skype is. This is really weird. Really, really weird. Well, then I won't ask you how you make the phone ring uh, through the watch yet <laughs> until you get done with your stuff. <laughs> uh, the, the, uh, the phone rings. It just it just rings. It should ring if you have it. Uh, it it's it, paired. It's not ringing. It's paired and it doesn't ring? No. Oh. Uh so I think there's something you got to turn on uh, in the phone to tell it to do that. Uh, really? Yeah. Oh, okay. All right. Uh, but I'm not sure. Let me see here. What what is this? This says Skype, but it's a uh, oh, it's Skype.com. That's what that is. What is? Where's where's my? Uh, I completely have lost my uh, uh, my Skype. And this Skype, what is this one? Is this it? No, that's that's the old one. Ah, that's the one I want to get rid of. Okay, but I might get rid of you too if I uninstall it. We um, like you. We'll call you back, huh? especially if you stop yelling at us. <laughs> uh, yeah, yeah. I'm I'm just trying to figure out what the hell. What one is ringing and what one isn't ringing and why don't I have? Uh, why don't I have some Skype here somewhere from the other Skype? That's weird. Well, you want me to call you back? No, uh, no, I'm not going to do that. I'm not going to do. I'm not going to put you all through that. Uh, well, I just thought that it would you see which one it rings on. Let me see here. Let me add. Uh, 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 you know. Let me see here. Settings. Um, hello, Tony. How are you this evening? I'm all right. You're okay. The house isn't on fire, so I'm pretty good. <laughs> the house isn't on fire. I actually unlocked the stove, so they, it's see. just mind-boggling, the whole short-term memory. Yeah. Now, let me see. Uh, pin to start. I don't want to pin it to start. Okay. That would be the blue one. It's it's the wrong one. Huh. It's really strange. Oops. I just did something wrong here. Let me put it back here. There we go. I'll worry about this later. I'll figure it out after the show is over. I'll probably spend all day trying to work it out tomorrow. And then tomorrow night, I, I won't know till I go on tomorrow night whether I fix the problem or not. This is any good. Wow, we're, we just had some lightning outside. Mm. Yeah, I thought it was just me. Yeah, so anyway, uh, our president tonight was making fun of uh, Dr. Ford. I don't think he was making fun. I think he was being realistic and uh, saying, uh, hey, uh, she I, didn't I can't, know sorry, I can't where these it. things I can't took take place. It. Phil, Phil, I can't take it. I no? can't take All right. it. I really can't take it. You know, I mean, it, it, come on. He's being an asshole and an idiot. You know, to begin with, she knows wh where she was. Secondly, he didn't say he had one beer. He said he had a lot of beers over. He, she I said love she beer. I like beer. beer. Uh, is that she? Uh, uh, Ford said she. Makes she makes the drink in there? Are you Ford's? Me a jolly good fellow. All I know is I like that, that he has been so ridiculed over the weekend by comedy shows and everything else that I don't see how you can make this guy a Supreme Court judge with any authority. So comedy shows now are going to determine who gets on the Supreme Absolutely. Court. Yeah, okay. Next Matt Damon, he admitted to Matt, Matt beer. Damon did the be best Brett Kavanaugh I've ever seen. <laughs> drinking beer. Uh, yeah, yeah uh, who, who did that? On I heard about Matt it. Damon. Matt Damon did. Matt Damon. He Matt Damon. 
did you Damon. see the picture? Did you see the picture of uh, Doctor Ford as a fifteen-year-old? No. That tells you I, it didn't. That tells you it didn't happen. No, I think that was fake news. What, uh, did he? I, I don't think that was that? a real picture. Uh, I don't think that was a picture of her. It was just real homely looking, and I, no, I don't think it was her. Come on, Phil. Uh, anyway. How does he even admit like he's never had a beer? I mean, come on. Does he really think people are going to believe that? Did you ever have a beer, Tony? I don't drink, but I actually did drink on occasion. And to say I never would drink, never had a beer, would be like it's totally stupid. I just I don't like the taste of it, actually. I'm more would drink wine, I hate to say. Oh, I you're, you're a wine drinker. drinker. Ooh. I think it's bitter. I never liked it. Actually, you know what I found out, Alex? I never realized this. My brother told me my grandfather was an alcoholic who lived in the house. I don't remember him very well. He really. He, well, so good. I'm glad you had an alcoholic in the halls. I, uh, <laughs> um, you know, I, I never knew because I don't remember him. So that's all I wanted to say. <laughs> so I don't know why I don't drink. I don't know. When he asked, like you, Alex, when he, really when he like, asked that one I, female I senator, know. what was her name? <laughs> Col 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 Klobuchar? Amy. Yeah. Amy yeah. Uh, uh, have you ever blacked out? What kind of a no, fucking question out. is that to ask a senator? How rude. He said that? Yeah. Have hey. you ever blacked out? No. Said, she rude. said, you and know. what they were asking him wasn't rude? Oh, not at all. He's oh, he, Look at the job he's trying to get. There is no such yeah. thing as a rude question. He's right. Come on. That's a big time job. Come on. And they can't ask any separate questions. They've never asked. Did, anyone. Are you going to say that no, that? You that are you going to say that that, that asshole comported himself in a stately, dignified manner? Yeah, it would have been. Come easy on, to no, do no, that don't if, say, if, don't if say what about, don't say what about. Tell me, did he or didn't he? Yes. Uh, I yes. would have been just as pissed off at them. That isn't that isn't the point. That hey, isn't the point. You're auditioning. You're auditioning for, for a job, you. and you have to act diplomatic. Yeah, you have to show the kind of. You can't show you I'm fly diplomatic. off the handle. I'd rather right. he be who he really is, and that's. What I'd we rather get. he be who he really uh, is too, so we can decide not to put him on the Supreme Court. That's right. He see, did, did, he have any, did, did, he, did he have any decisions at the DC, the DC uh, Circuit Court Both. judge? How many decisions did he make? Uh, uh, 309. How many? 309. I, think, I, thought he, I thought he had no experience. No, he, had no, he, he tried no cases as a lawyer. He tried no cases? As a, as lawyer, a lawyer. As a lawyer. As a lawyer. Why did he do that? Some people are uh, 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 don't do cases as a was, lawyer, and then they go become really? a judge. Yeah, three hundred and nine. I thought he tried to lie. Cases that he's cases. Uh, that he's the heard. The second he, highest court in the land. You would have thought he tried some. He tried <laughs> beer. I'll tell you that. Though, yeah, he tried <laughs> beer. <laughs> I tried. He likes. I'll beer. have another one. <laughs> He drank that beer. Come I on, mean, you did have the seven. funniest line of the night the other night, uh, Phil, as tasteless as it was. What was that? And that was, uh, come on, who brings a swimsuit to a rape? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah that's I, true. I, <laughs> that, was, <laughs> that, that was tasteless, Phil, I mean, but it was Alex, funny. I actually think he's a funny guy. There's something about Phil that I like because he's like the polar opposite of Alex. So it's almost like your alter ego, I figure it out. <laughs> It's like whatever you would be against, he's his opposite. It's like Bizarro. The head and the ass. Yeah, it's like Alex the Superman and he's Bizarro. It's like Bizarro World. <laughs> Is that a comic book? Yeah, it's Bizarro. Bizarro. Alex would be Superman, you would be Bizarro. Because you're the opposite of everything he believes. The bizarro world is the opposite of everything. Up is down, down is up. Remember like in Jerry. Bizarro, bizarro Jerry. Jerry. Yeah, yeah. Bizarro. <laughs> you're echoing for some reason. I hear that. Okay, I don't know why. I don't know yeah, why. I, I I give up. Yeah, you, know, you know what's happening is Skype is going to their new Skype eight exclusively starting November first. Okay. Even for Mac. And the reason I had my what oh, happened to lost Ray. Ray. The reason I had my thing up and running. So you want to uh, watch the, the reason the reason that it. other Skype seems to be running. Is because today I was testing this system that would uh, uh, allow me to run the video on on there, and it is so complicated. I'm thinking of November first, not doing a show anymore. If I do it, just be audio only. 
you know. Oh, there. See that? Or do it on Facebook, then. Go back to the Facebook, then. What happens if I go over here? Hold on a second. I just want to... Oh, that hung up on him. Oh, boy. <laughs> this is ridiculous. <laughs> you know. Hold on a second. Let me... Oops. Oh, no, no. Uh, now I got to get rid of something. Ah, oh, this is just all screwing up on me. There we go. Let me see here. Ray Renati. Let me call him. I'll call him. Oh, there we go. Add to group. Add to group call. I don't want you folks to have to hear that ringing all the time. Is what I don't want you to have to hear. Oh, my hear. God. What is that ringing? It's annoying. Uh, it's a, it, On top of it, Skype has an annoying ring, the new one. Can you change that? I don't hear it. I don't Am know. I I'm, I'm going to have to figure this all out tomorrow. I'm going to go online and see how do I make <laughs> it so that 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 uh, Skype doesn't work. You know, how do I stop it from working? <laughs> no. You don't fine. have to stop it. It doesn't work on its own. No, I mean, You're doing I, fine. Huh? You're doing fine. Yeah, you know, I know I'm doing fine, but I just hate that ringing. I just, I, you know, I just, uh, I'm just really ticked off at Skype. And and all these people are writing in saying it's horrible, it's terrible. We can and no. these aren't people who use it the way I use it. These they're are a bunch of babies. What do you mean? What do you no, mean they're, they're a bunch they're of writing babies? writing in on that thing he's doing. No, uh, am I still echoing? No, no. no. Oh, good. Okay. They're saying just like Trump, just like Trump said about the tariffs, they're a bunch of babies. Uh, yeah. Oh, no, why? I think Alex uh, SG Alex was I think referring to a group that he's in that were uh, dealing with uh, Skype. They were uh, answering questions. No, and, uh, is that correct, Alex? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Just joking. Yeah. Good job. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, oh. And uh, mm. so I guess the people in that group were saying they hate it. Okay, hold on a sec. Oh, wait a minute. I don't want that. Wait a minute. Hold on a second. Wait a minute. I'm trying. To, I just saw something here, and I'm trying to hang up on something. But no, that one's working now. That's working. I don't know. I give up. I give up. I'm not going to even try and figure it out. I'll figure it out tomorrow. What I'll do is I'll just get rid of anything that says Skype and just put in the, uh, the old one. And if I need to eventually put in the new one, so be it. I, I have a pre... Uh, oh, there we go. This says SG is calling. Why is SG suddenly calling again? So he can make that phone ring sound? <laughs> Why did you do that, uh, SG? <laughs> now I got you. You cut me out. I, hey, I got to I got to go. But uh, my prediction is uh, 52, 48 uh, confirmed on Monday. No, I <laughs> predict uh, the I, I predict the other way. I predict at least 50, uh, 51, 49. I think you're going to find that Susan Collins isn't going to vote for it, and uh, what's her name from uh, from Alaska? Murkowski. Murkowski, Murkow Murkowski is yeah. not going to vote for it, and I think you're going to find that Jeff uh, Flake is not going to vote for it. I think he's. What gonna... about uh, the Democrats? Joe Manchin, the ones in the red states, aren't uh, they? May vote. Well, for you know, it. Heidi High Heidi Heitkamp is down by uh, six to ten points. Well, She's got to vote. She, yes. Well, you know, I'm I'm sorry. I just don't. Oh, boy. You know, this whole thing happening during election year. I mean, for people to make a moral judgment based on their future career. Because this is a moral judgment that they're making. And to suddenly say to yourself, well, I'm, I may not get reelected if I vote against uh, uh, Brett uh, Kavanaugh. Is, is a terrible, thing? terrible thing to say that you even are taking that into consideration. That just proves what kind of leaders we have in co in the Congress and Senate. Really? How, you know? How's that? Well, uh, because these people are more interested in their own well-being than in I representing. Have, no, I have people. to cut short. The dog has to go out. She's crying. I'm sorry. Oh, <laughs> Tell her to take a number. Why did you ga <laughs> Why didn't you gas that dog? You know. <laughs> he's got two of them to pick up after, huh? He's, he's you got gotta have you gotta have corroborating evidence after thirty five years. You gotta have it. There, this there is no no you don't. 
Th- this is I'm a situation tell you why, where SG. you Wait get a minute. I'm going to tell you why. Guilty. I'm going to tell you why, SG, because this is not a trial. This is a job interview. Okay, right. and if you think of it in those terms, everything changes. You know, you're looking into the moral qualities of an individual who you're thinking of hiring. And somebody comes along and says he does not have the moral character, and you then judge what they say against what the other person says. But it's so an not, accusation. It is let not me, a let trial. Me, let, me, let me say this. I'm a recruiter who, hire, who gets people hired. Uh-huh. I deal with candidates. So when the Democrats say to the candidate, why don't you, why don't you turn to the person and say, have the FBI investigate? There is no place in my world where the candidate is in control. All right. Will you agree with of, me, of, SG? Of, uh, of, uh, of, the pro- of the process. Uh, SG, Nowhere. SG, no will, way, you, will, you no agree, will you agree with me, SG, that this is a whole different job category than, than you hiring somebody to, I don't know, install rugs? No, I, I hire them to be... Talk show hosts. Well, and then I wouldn't. I'd I'd uh, hire the most immoral human being you can find. <laughs> no. Well, you know. Oh, wait a minute, Alex, are you applying? <laughs> <laughs> well, if he's got jobs, send me your resume. <laughs> I've got the voice, you know. <laughs> uh, but Jeff's uh, got it. Yes, uh, Jeff. Hand. That that no, you're, no, you're right, Alex. I'll agree with you on that. Okay, Jeff. What? Yeah, let bro- Jeff talk. I've hired many people. Some of them, when I hired them, I wasn't sure whether it was the right person. Yeah. But I needed somebody at the same time. So sometimes you got to take risks. But this is a different job. This is for life. And it's the Supreme Court. In the Supreme Court, they're, they're people making decisions, not just for themselves, but for my grandkids, okay? Yeah. And, and, you know. You don't see the sham that this investigation and the and what no. the Democrats did? I, I didn't think you would, but. Uh, I it, do. It, it looks like I, a I sham. Think there, no, I think there's a sham going on, but there's also a situation where a, uh, a woman was possibly... Uh, you know, had attempted rape done to her by him, and maybe other people sim- had similar situations. So whether or not it's a sham, uh, or whether or not the, pol- the Democrats are trying to take political advantage, doesn't discount the fact that that may have happened. Oh, it may have happened, and they are and, 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 Yeah, that's what I'm saying. So I mean, I think it's both the Democrats trying to take advantage in a political arena. And also the fact that there may be a big problem with this guy. Well, I think both things are true. I had a hard time defending not waiting a week and uh, and uh, and and looking into these allegations and interviewing these uh, supposed witnesses. I really had a hard time with that. You know, I didn't. I thought uh, the only reason I thought that they shouldn't do it was I thought that uh, the guy was being railroaded and the things that Feinstein did, uh, holding the uh, she letter. She didn't hold back. Phil, she did not hold back. She was asked not to release the information. You know, this is no, Trump she was asked not. Syndrome. She was asked not to uh, uh, reveal the information by the parties concerned. I understand, but they could have had a very private. Oh. Uh, <laughs> uh, uh, they could have had a very. They could have investigated this two months ago without, ex, you know, without exposing. They could have said was. Did Kavanaugh have these kinds of experiences in those years? And without revealing her name, there could no, have been an investigation have done, along no, those lines. No, they so we don't know who revealed her name. It doesn't matter. Even if her name wasn't revealed, uh, if Feinstein said, I have information. You can't, you can't say you've got information if you can't reveal the person to whom you're attributing it to. Well, don't you think Soros knew who that information was and the other people Soros that Soros doesn't this, know this shit. What, what makes you think Soros know, knew what well, she Matt was has doing? Been funding this thing. Where did they, she come up with $550,000 in a GoFundMe account? 
don't you think that the left is is is, is making this she has a, a GoFundMe? Uh, wait a minute, she has a, make new she has a, ago? she has a go These are people on their own who did the wait a minute, she has a account. Go, people I yeah. think probably in my freaking neighborhood here started it. I mean, come on, Phil. I'm not, yeah. you know, and there's several ones. <laughs> you want to well, yeah. So what? So what? It's irrelevant. Well, I, so what? I, I, How do you think she's going to pay for those lawyers? That's irrelevant, Phil. How do you think she's yeah. going to pay for the those lawyers? The lawyers are working pro bono per their How statement do you know? at the hearing. Well, you they, so at the what? hearing, they, she, uh, the uh, well, I the, don't, the I, I don't even know that she's got a GoFundMe. She didn't certainly start one. If somebody, no, started, she didn't. Somebody well, did. Well, and, then don't, different. then don't blame her for it. No, but I'm saying don't that blame her people. for it, Phil. Look. Look, oh, you're you've got Trump derangement syndrome because oh, you God. yell every time you're challenged. That's a fox talking. Can't you have Can't Trump you have a discussion Trump. without like yelling? Just no, like not Trump when the person I'm talking to is a complete and utter moron. <laughs> <laughs> you know, the, 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 the shoe fits wear it. You know, uh, and, but I think that you know uh, you are accusing and yelling when all you have to do is have a conversation. Yeah. Well, here's a, here's the one question, Alex. You're the most brilliant person on the panel. Yeah. So I'll ask you this. Oh. <laughs> Tell me about why the timing of all these allegations. Tell me why those occurred when they occurred. I think they occurred when they occurred because they occurred when they had to occur and when they were uh, when they had the information at hand and were able to reveal it. I don't think. Look. Uh, it, uh, earlier this year, uh, we had a, uh, a Supreme Court justice nominated by Trump, and the Democrats got together with the Republicans, and they went through with it. There was no, none of this kind of thing going on. So to attribute that this is the way that, that uh, Democrats do business, just this year, they were very cooperative with a, with a person. I'm asking you about the it. timing. I don't think the timing had anything to do with it. I think the timing. Think no, I think saying. the timing was part. No, the that the four yes or the, yes. five allegations happened after the hearings. After the hearings, no, they were they were looming before the hearings. Looming. Looming. Yeah. No one knew of them. They I knew. I, after the, I knew. I knew the there hearing. were some some questions, and there were some things that might be coming out. It may have been that, you know, it is a matter of can, can you buy maybe that because of her reluctance to come forward, they could not go f f uh, go until that time when she said, OK, I will go forward. I mean, it was up to her. It was her call. And then when somebody outed her, OK, then she said, OK, you can go ahead and reveal my name, and okay, I'll come and speak before All the right. committee. Well, what about Swetnick, who was gang raped and then went to ten more parties watching people? Hey, look, why didn't she come? Out? To begin with, because she's a nut. To begin with, Swetnick isn't part of the of the investigation. All right. Yes. No. no, she uh, uh, no. Not according to Schumer. Uh, well, I uh, all I've heard is that the only person they talked to, they talked to uh, what's her name, Ramirez. Two right. of them, but according to Schumer, they no, should she all, all they be only, They only at. talked to Ramirez. <laughs> they didn't even talk to Ford, the FBI. Right. No, but Ford, the, the people, do you know how FBI investigations work? They, they take the, the people at the low end, and then they work up to the, to the principal. Yeah, but they say they, have, how, they say they have no intention of interviewing Ford. That's not what they said. This, that's what they said. They, they, wait a minute, they, wait a minute. Uh, 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 Kevin? Right. Kevin? Oh, Kevin? Kevin? That's what they said. That's what they said today. What did they say? They said they had no intention of uh, going out, uh, interviewing Ford, that they had enough from her already. Yeah, I guess, uh, you know, they, they had that prosecutor that basically did an interview. Uh, no, there are questions they could ask or that weren't asked by, uh, at that hearing, like, can you have some people who might substantiate this? Can you give she us did. their address? No, she didn't uh, at that hearing. She I don't. I don't think it was totally was ruled out. Known. Huh? What? I don't think it was totally ruled out. But they said that they weren't. They weren't intending to interview her again. You know, yes. The principal yeah. goes last. Still, there's still another day or two. Yes, uh, 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 Ray. Ray. 
I I just want to I just make an observation. It's it's interesting how people who are in favor of Trump are have made you know dug their heels in on Trump have learned how to do the the Kellyanne Conway thing where where you bring up one thing like uh, Ford and then you also you say then you say something like well what about Swetnick you know it's always like it it, it always it, once you bring up something that has that is an actually good argument then it's always <laughs> like the what about this though but what about and, this and, oh, what? but what about Bill Clinton and, but what no, about Kav- no, it's like, no no yeah, and, and Kavanaugh well, did it you, the you whole do that time. All the time. Look at you know, Schumer is the one, and they and and they are saying we need to investigate everyone. I'm not saying that. I could care oh, less oh. if Swetnick is, he, is he in there or not. He didn't oh, okay. want it to take more than seven days. Uh, he didn't. He didn't want it to be limited to seven days. Uh, they. He said, you know, but Trump is saying he doesn't want it to be a fishing expedition. That he wants them to, you know, investigate these claims and then move on. Well, no. What, what, the reason he's accusing he doesn't want to fit. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Hold on a second. And they made a deal SG, with a bunch of Democrats SG, that said it's going to be a week. SG, listen to me. To begin with, Phil, uh, the reason why Trump is saying he doesn't want it to be a fishing expedition is he's once again trying to make the FBI look bad, saying, "Oh, well, they're doing a fishing expedition with me, and I, uh, I don't want them to do with me." Uh, you know, to to this that's guy. supposition. Also, I think he just also, wants to get- I am so sick of this prick Trump. Okay, <laughs> this fucking prick Trump coming out and doing these wee 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 stories about oh poor Brett Kavanaugh and his family and his lovely Fuck. child. I've seen his lovely child and she's such a lovely child. How? Why are you making? Why are you hiding him behind his family? His family is part of who he is. He has Fuck a his family. family. He got them into this mess. <laughs> he, right. he didn't get them into anything. Yes, he He's did. Just been accused. Okay. He agreed okay. to be, to go up for the job right. and to take anything that it took. And he knew ma- probably yeah. there were some yeah, things right. they were going to find out. What would you on. say Alex, if this Alex. was proved to be false? Hey, listen. This guy on uh, Thursday lied through his fucking teeth on just about everything. Lied. He uh, lied he, to lied. begin with that's, once before in his hearings. Say, in the hearings, hold say, on a second, SG. Right. SG, hold on a second. In the hearings that went on before, he said he didn't drink. And now, all of a sudden, he's saying, I like beer. I drink beer. I drink beer a no, lot. He, he didn't yeah. say he didn't drink. All right. Yes, in the original, in the original uh, interviews and stuff, he 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 didn't. He uh, lied uh, about being uh, asked if he used alcohol. Uh, I, I'm not sure of that. I, I, yeah. I can't and, and, say one and point uh, or another. In this thing, he said, well, I liked an occasional beer. They've got people. The, Brooks, the guy from the right winger who writes for the New York Times for the op-ed page. I'm, I'm trying to remember his first name. Um, said that he knows. Uh, he knows uh, 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 Kavanaugh, Kavanaugh. And Kavanaugh is a heavy drinker. You know, I, I saw I saw a meme today, which was kind of funny. It showed a bunch of uh, cartoon FBI agents go to the door, knocking on it, saying, uh, "Open up! We're here to talk to you about a 1982 uh, uh, party you were at." Mm-hmm. Yeah. Get it? So. What? No, okay. I didn't play. Yeah, it's. Still I mean, right. imagine imagine a bunch of people knocking at your door saying. Hey, Alex, we want to talk to you about a 1982 party you were at. Well, David well, Brooks is the name, by the way. Uh, go ahead. I'm not running for a, a judge. Yeah. Okay, no one's running for a judge. But yeah, the point he's is... He's not running. He's being appointed. Okay, whatever. He's not being... A, yeah, I'm not, I'm not being appointed as a judge. It has to do with character. Do you want someone It who, has to do with lies? character. It's, it, 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 at the bottom line, it probably doesn't even have to do with him doing what he did to her it's a fact that he lied about it it's integrity more than anything else exactly. he lied about other if, things we know he, he lied about other things I mean, if, if you're going to be a judge you can't lie period well uh, you know we'll see if he lied because the fbi will see and the, the fbi does not well, come you see to what you're doing when you're a the judge FBI investigates. oh yes scott's got his hand up let scott talk he can lie because he's catholic he can go to church and confess it and be 
free of his sins. See, this that's guy knows. Too. That's all he wants. This guy knows. That's, that, that's what happened. This is I true. thought the does. same thing, Scott. I thought the same thing when I was listening. Me too. Because he, he when when he that one senator asked him under the under the word of God, did you did you do this? And and he sat there and he thought about it and he said, you know what? I can go to confession later and yeah. fix this. There's no problem for him. Yeah. Well, you guys will have to go to confession to fix it because you're accusing an innocent man of. Uh, <laughs> well, how do you of, know he's uh, innocent? How do you, you know, don't know Phil, that? How, how do, do you, you know, know he's guilty? How do you know he's innocent? I. How do you know he's guilty? I'm not saying it's, he's there's guilty. There's a presumption I'm not, of innocence. I'm not he's saying. innocent. How do you know? In, in this we country, don't know, but this, this is a job interview. interview. In this it's country, a job there's interview. There's a presumption it, it of innocence. Feel, it feels like he's guilty, so he's guilty. It's a job interview. Why so? can't you just I looked, else I looked in the man's eyes. I looked in the man's eyes. I'll, I'll be like Kennedy from <laughs> Louisiana. I looked in the man's eyes, and you know what I saw? Utter Alex fucking... Adam. Deceit, all right. Yeah. And how about just demeanor? Is that the kind of person? Is that the demeanor? Yeah. yeah. Is that the kind of fly fact, off the off the off the handle? Said. No. He should. He said what should no. have been said no, by no, Bork. No. He Phil, said what should Phil, have been said Phil, by Phil, uh, Phil, Phil. If I, I don't know if you've ever been in for a job interview, but if you're interviewing for a job, aren't you going to be as nice as you possibly can? Exactly. No, no matter, yeah. even, if the, even if the even if the guy that. from across the table says, uh, "We we heard you like goosed a woman at your last job," you go, you don't yell at him. You you very calmly go, "No, I did not, sir." Well, that's the what thing he said. That you're, the thing that no, you're missing didn't. on that, Alex, is eleven of the people are for him, who he's trying to uh, tell. He's trying to emote that he's passionate about who he is. And where he's done, been and That's what he's bullshit, done. That's bullshit, though. He didn't prove the, that. What he proved is, number one, he's a, crying, he's a crying, he's a crying little vindictive shit. He's not going to stand for it. He, but mm. he's a lying, crying, vindictive piece of shit. That's what he is. Lindsey Graham yeah. also yeah. told those guys where it's at. And Lindsey oh, Graham. God. Oh, you know what Lindsey Graham was yeah. doing, Phil? He was auditioning a for a job for Attorney General. That's what he yeah, was I doing. I don't think so. You know, that's but, what everybody says. He's up well, for Attorney that's General what you with Trump. Say. And so he played. <laughs> you know, Lindsey now, Graham, the, the that little is, weasel. He's the, he's, he stood up and he and he said what was truthfully on his mind. And Kavanaugh gave him the ability to do that because Kavanaugh stood up. And 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 uh, and and talk back. Well, to let me just say this: If Lindsey Graham hasn't sucked a dick in his time, I'd be amazed. Uh, oh, I Lindsey am, Graham is totally gay. <laughs> <laughs> Every gay person I know says that he's closeted. Well, I don't want to say he's second. gay. I don't want to say he's gay because I know a lot of gay people, and I don't want to cast aspersions on them by saying <laughs> Lindsey Graham is gay. Well, I'm very closeted. <laughs> I'm yeah. very yeah, happy. Off too. He no matter. No matter he who did some he sleeps with, and some devil's yeah. triangles. No matter who he sleeps with, I'm really happy that he stood up and he stood up to the. He Democrats. was standing. He he stood up uh, with his convictions. Oh, I thought you let meant them it. know. Oh, by the way, kinda, by the way, what kind of low by, lights by, they by, really are. By the way, uh, number one, I've never heard of the term the devil's triangle. <laughs> but <laughs> me either. Has anybody heard of a drinking game called the devil's triangle? I don't drink. Yeah. Since I, when I, I, I was in a fraternity oh, like Kavanaugh's, and I saw every drinking game there is. There was never a Drevel's Triangle. Since, since and I knew a lot calendar, of people like Kavanaugh. You yeah. All right, boffed. one one dollar he gets. I didn't confirmed. log that I farted. I bet a dollar he's confirmed. Place your bets. Oh, I think how he's going to be confirmed. Collect? <laughs> I, I think he's going to be confirmed. Yeah, I think so. I think I'll, gonna I'll, I'm going to count on Alex, who's a very honest person. Okay, well, how are you going to collect? <laughs> well, I don't want to bet, but I'll say he's going to be confirmed. Because I, what? Do you have PayPal? I can send you the money, or what? Venmo. At PayPal, Venmo, they'll okay. laugh at a dollar. <laughs> <laughs> send Gab that box. Man, I gotta tell you, Skype, if you're listening, if uh, Skype, if you're listening, your bell is so fucking annoying. We don't hear it. Yeah, we don't hear it here. We don't hear it at all. It's only on your side. It's so annoying. It's it's not going over the air. We don't hear it. 
It's so annoying. And do look, you pay Jack, for this? Wait a minute. Alex, do you wait pay a minute. For this? Are you doing the same thing SG is doing, Jack? Or yeah. do you just no, not he doesn't it? realize it. Jack, move your camera. Oh, there it is. There we go. Uh, yes, yes, Jack. How are you? Hey, I'm I'm surprisingly good, all things considered. Here's the question I want to ask: Why do we? Why would any want someone to sit on the highest court in the land where? Where there's questions of propriety, morality, and I don't even give a damn about mor morality. But when you got somebody who, like my good friends that are Republicans, like Phil Meyer, who's always talking about what great, straight living people they are, and we find out they're all a bunch of dogs like the rest of us. Now, I'd have more respect. Welcome to reality. I would have more respect for you conservatives if you said, look, we're a bunch of bastards like the rest of you. They are. But you know what? But they don't his, say it. Is they he don't. qualified, is he qualified uh, based on uh, his knowledge of the Constitution and constitutional law to do the job? What about his qualities as a human being? I'd rather, have, that's, I'd rather, Jack, I'd rather have an idiot. I'd that, rather have an idiot than a guy like this guy. And I guess I, we're going to have to put uh, Alex on the Supreme Court. But, you well, know, that's uh, a step in the right <laughs> direction, followed by me. And then maybe no, by two or three women. This is an accusation. He says he's innocent. Is right. it, then now, let's, it's let's, why why would you just believe the woman and not the man? Because we've had more than one woman come forward. Yeah, uh, like uh, Swetnik, like, uh, Swetnik like, who's who's a nut. Uh, wait, wait, uh, wait, 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 wait. You don't even know Swetnik, so you don't know that she's a nut. You know, so I do, you, you don't I know do. that she's. They've already walked back all her accusations. Uh, she was of college age. What was she doing at a at ten uh, uh, high school parties? Uh, no, it doesn't what? add up. This was what? a Michael Avenatti uh, okay. plant. Right. Then let's I thought it was the Clintons. Then let's try the man in a real court and send his ass to jail. That that would be a nice Jack. Jack, that would be a nice thing, because if you tried him in a real court, he would get to confront his accusers, number one. Number two, if if uh, if this is specious, like I believe it is, they would be charged with a crime for making a false report. And so that's the why they don't want to go to a civil court. Oh, wait a minute. He doesn't want to go to a civil court. Oh, no. Well, he's got too I'm much class. About, he wants to be a... He wants to be he, a Supreme Court justice. And and, and he he's has going to let it go. He has we all? a test from the day whatever the good part of him rolled down his mother's leg. He he is going to let it go. <laughs> but those who are accusing him have the ability. There's no uh, in Maryland. There's no statute uh, of limitations. Wee, wee, they wee. could sue him civilly. Wee 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 wee. Oh, uh, you know. Uh, look, all I can tell you is look, you Republicans had a feels day. With Bill Clinton, it's our turn. It's <laughs> uh, that's what it is. And so Kavanaugh was right. Hey, no, it's all I, about Clinton. I'm no, the Clintons. Yeah, hey, Kavanaugh was right. Well, first no, the Clintons. Point. No, the Clintons orchestrated this. He said. Look, no, no. <laughs> yes, he, he says did. it's revenge. Oh, wait, it's revenge for no. He said work. they orchestrated it. I heard him. No, it's Kemp revenge for his work with Ken and Starr. Damn it, it's I heard him say they orchestrated it. I it's will time, find it. It's time that we admit that a big portion of American politics is revenge, and that there's nothing wrong with it, and you take your scalps when you find them. Uh, I don't think this is revenge. No, yeah. you know, maybe we're not. Uh, uh, maybe in the days of dueling, but things have changed. And, uh, you know, just, our, just because I like you, I'm drinking... Black tea. <laughs> well, just, well, just because I'm just because I'm a socialist, I'm drinking tomato juice. <laughs> Elections have consequences. Look, I am socialist and I drink vodka. <laughs> and winds up on the court. He will be in a position to make uh, determinations on laws that could stand for as long as a hundred years. I hope Whoa. so. Well, the thing is, I think it's... It, it, now, you know how I feel about this. We have reached a tipping point in this country where it's time to break this son of a bitch up. It is time to have five or six countries on this continent. I don't agree with you. I know you don't agree with me because you don't see the value of it. Wouldn't you like to have a country where a guy like me, a lefty like me, has no impact on your country? I'd like to have one where a no. conservative like that, you... That's, that's what lefties want. 
But I you, do want you lefties. Know, if you know, and if you don't want the same thing, you're lying to me and you're lying I, to me. I want lefties to have impact. I want the I want the uh, a representation that is fair in uh, to everyone, and uh, because I'm not looking for a case, dictatorship. In that case, you better do something about voter suppression, voter cribbing, uh, gerrymandered districts, disproportionate representation by the affluent. Now, hasn't that been happening uh, since uh, Hector was a pup? I believe that that's been going on. The, the, the Congress was ruled by the Democrats for 50 years and, after FDR. And the, and, Democratic and, that, and the Democratic Party wasn't a real leftist party and still isn't. No, they were KKK members for the most part. But. <laughs> Just listen. Politicians, yeah, no, Phil is right about that. Politicians, by and large, care about one thing, and that is power. Now, there's nothing right. wrong with wanting power, but but there is something wrong from your opponents backing down and not willing to take the fight to you. I always say this, Phil, and you've heard me say it. We've all got a jugular. Nobody is going away in the American political fight as long as we that's, try. That's oh. the problem. People don't discuss anymore. They yell at each other. But they they don't wrong. have conversation. There, there's nothing wrong with yelling as long as you get your point in. I don't no. have with you. But I don't expect you to agree with me. No. I do expect but you to what? cut the line, look me in the eye, and fight as hard as I fight. I'll look you Stop. in the eye. You need to have discourse, not not punching like Ray. Uh, 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 it's it's past that. Listen, we haven't had discourse <laughs> in this country ever. Well, it's ever. time that we grow up. Well, we're not going to because we're human beings. Now, let's uh, accept that. What? And let's uh, enjoy I, I, these. I can't. I can't accept that. Let's enjoy these battles. Let's enjoy I winning and losing and getting up the next day and going to try to rip a new hole in each other, because well, that's the that's the problem. We the people. Why would you want to do that? What's the? How is that a problem, Phil? The problem is, is you don't get any uh, any agreement amongst people when you're yelling and trying to rip a hole in their throat. All right, let me ask you this. Do you want agreement or do you want consensus? There are two different things. Both. Sometimes you have, you know, I remember once I had a, I had an argument with my first wife. I had never been married before. I was 36 when I got married. And we got into this fight, a really verbally good bashing of each other. Good. So, so finally, I said Is that to her, how you got the tracheotomy? Yes, a matter of fact. <laughs> so finally, I said to her, Peggy, you win. And she looked at me as if I had gored her ox. I said, no, you win. That's it. That's, you because, win. that's because you gave no. up. No, I said, no, look, you're, I'm not going to convince you. You're not going to convince me. I'm just going to tell you that you win. And sometimes you just have to settle for winning. And it's, that's, we, that's what we do. No, it's not about win or lose. Not if you can have then reasonable you discourse. You know, so you because want, the whole idea, what, what so Trump want wants to do, when, when, when Trump makes a deal, what he tries to do is he tries to do it from a point of, of friendship. And, he, you know, he doesn't, uh, in, maybe in the beginning he sets it up where he's yelling at the guy and calling him Rocket Man. But once uh, he gets to the point where he's having discussion you have, you have to get on a person-to-person uh, -person level. I you think, Phil. I think, like Phil. I think, Phil. What you're mistaking for a good business sense is really raging cowardice. That when he's <laughs> wait, 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 hold. Let me finish. When he isn't close to somebody, when he's across the the the, the ocean. He sits there and calls him Rocket Man. When he looks him straight in the face, he goes, he's like Jackie Gleason. Hummer, 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 hummer. I don't think you, I don't think you're straight on that, and I'll tell you why. Uh, because yeah. see, oh yeah, uh, he Kim was a Jong great. By the way, he was a great businessman. Do you know the Kim business Jong people laugh at him? I laugh at them. So uh, you know, yeah, but the, you're a lousy businessman too compared to them. You know, probably. Yeah. What? wants is consensus hey. consensus is different consensus is yes uh where people agree to at some point agree on how they're going to do things let's never confuse politicking and governing politics go. street fight Government. Oh, yeah. SG, SG's got to go. SG's got to go. Thanks, SG. We yeah. really appreciate yes, you joining us tonight. Hey, Jonas, Call me. back anytime. Okay. Bye-bye. Sure. Okay. Anyway. 
Okay, back you were to saying, where, Jack? where we were. Yeah. Oh, what I, uh, I was saying, look, nobody is leaving these battles. Nobody is going to give up their position, and nobody should. Sometimes we just may have to just settle to say, you won one, and I'll get even with you down the road. I, I think that the point of negotiation is that everybody should be a winner. Do you understand there's a difference between governing and politicking? Well, no, uh, oh, because, uh, that, because politicking gets and, in the way of governing. And, and that, and we, that we, be- we elected these people to govern, not to politic. The process of getting to the point where you're governing is politics. It's getting people who share your point of view to support you as long as we have a system that is funded the way we fund our political system. If you want to, if you want to do something about that, where the people are working for us rather than vested interests, then we need to have publicly financed campaigns, probably from the state house up. What would happen if you just eliminated lobbying? Well, first of all, it, it, if, as long as you've got guys like you who have sufficient enough capital to pour into somebody's campaign, they're going to do what it takes to garner your support. Well, I, 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 I bought I Trump's. I want to know that just like, just like Trump or just like any other multi-billionaire, I can buy my politician and he stays bought. Well, I, I'm pretty sure I bought Trump. I, I donated $200. Do you think uh, I, I'm going to get my way with him? That's a good Well, I tell you, if there are enough people like you giving $200, and it's, is that all you gave to a guy that you support? And I bought a hat. <laughs> I, yeah. give, I give $150 a month to the Democratic Party, and I don't call myself a Democrat. They just happen to be the party that's in power that has the best chance of winning, that represents some of the things that I believe in. Well, I did donate to Amy's campaign. Well, good for okay, you. And look what I got over the last week. Melania. Oh. Yeah. She asking you for a date? See, yeah, I got on that shit list again, and now she's sending me letters. Yeah, oh, that's nice. The only thing is, the difference between hers and the ones you get from Trump is hers says, Help. <laughs> smells good. It smells yeah, really good. Is it perfumed? I have a Russian sex worker trapped in the White House. Yeah. Ooh, it smells good. It says he touched me on the pussy. Um, <laughs> well, there's a hair in With here. This mushroom dick. <laughs> is that hair on the coke can? It's that, shaped like a mushroom. There are two there are two things Trump should thank God for. He should thank God for winning the election because the two reasons are he isn't being can't be arrested and Melania is staying with him. If he weren't if he didn't make it the president, he'd already be up on charges and uh, uh, Melania would be long gone. If he didn't run, he wouldn't have a lot of the issues that we're talking about. By the today. way, have you seen the seen the retard Baron lately? <clears throat> oh no, is he a retard? Yep. Uh, how do you know? Look at has him. He, has, he's an eleven year old kid that's fostered into the into the limelight. Fostered, you know, <laughs> thrown in the limelight. He has had less limelight. Then the Obama daughters, the Clinton daughter, uh, uh, the Carter daughter, and certainly less than the Roosevelt sons did during I'm their not, day. I don't even well, know. Like the, the Carter I, I daughter, don't, I, he's not allowed to get high. I mean, for all I know, the kid's dead. You know, I mean, you don't see him. You don't hear from him. Nothing. We well, haven't heard about his report card. Actually, it's not that, it, it, you know, but it, no, it, it, they say he may well be uh, retarded. Is that the proper retarded. term? What's retarded. the term we use now? Retarded. He's retarded. <laughs> retarded. What are you making fun of retards now? Well, no, you know, I'm at fun least of the if words. he was a that journalist, used, that, like that, that used to absolutely He's break challenged. Albert up when we were doing our radio program. Whenever I would go, "What are you retarded?" <laughs> you know, uh, that 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 is really hypocritical. You, you, I you, love you the make, word. Yeah. Did, wait, did I ever like say? Midget. Did I ever say I, I was midget. politically correct, Phil? I'm not talking about politically correct. I'm saying that 
to 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 go after the young children. All of right, all right, all right, all right. Is wrong. Bar- Baron, you know, that's Bar- just a retarded remark. Baron has special needs. One of them being a loving father, but that's and, another story. He ain't got that. I'm not so sure he's got any problems. You know, uh, no one, no one is admitted one way or another. Uh, you know, if anybody's retarded, it's probably Tiffany. Tiffany, the the daughter oh, of no. uh, Trump and uh, no. what's her name from uh, from no, Georgia. No, she just wants nothing to do with any of this because she thinks her father's a dick. Oh, yeah. Tiffany. No, she? she'd rather sit by the pool in a in a swimsuit. Yeah, well, like uh, well, like Alex said, you know, uh, obviously. She's much more intelligent than the rest of his kids because he she's staying away from him. Yeah, well, maybe Baron is too. I, you know, I just I I've seen the kid. He doesn't uh, display anything that would lead me to believe that he was challenged all right, in but, any. All right, all right, but look at all the heat you guys threw at uh, Amy Carter and at Chelsea Clinton. It's fair. It's not right, but it's fair. As long as, long as Chelsea Clinton was pretty much left o- alone. And Amy Carter, uh, you know, she she was a little bit of a devil and uh, would uh, you know uh, do things that uh, maybe put her in the in the uh, in the press Such once is. in a while. Such as uh, smoking pot, uh, uh, sneaking out sneaking was, out the tunnels, uh, trying they... trying to evade the Secret Service, stuff like that. Stuff like kids the Bush do. Twins. Yeah, stuff that kids do. And yeah. you know, uh, and this, what's wrong with that? You know, you know yeah, I, I'm stuff, not saying stuff that the, it stuff was... the kids do attempt rape. Yeah, things that kids do. <laughs> Amy well, Carter didn't try right. to rape anybody. Uh, we... Now, maybe her father well, had a little bit of, uh, uh, you know, stuff in his heart. You know, uh, what, did they, what did he say? He yeah, said I, he I, had I, lust, I, I, lusted. He lusted, lusted in my heart. heart. Lusted his heart. Well, he's yeah. being honest. Yeah. All right. Well, so was Kavanaugh. I mean, I mean yeah. after all, Nixon and uh, Pat Nixon... Never slept together during the entire time that they were in the White House because he had B.B. Rebozo on the side. But and, hey, who's talking? And, and, she, and she was drunk all the time. Yeah. 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 And we all yeah. know how that works out. Oh, no, no, been- no. Excuse me. It was Mamie Eisenhower that was the alcoholic. Was but she? They, 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 yeah. keep, they kept sending, we're, we're sending her away to, for, for, uh, to, uh, for, on a holiday. Right. And then she would it go into an alcoholic center. It was what Ford's wife that was. It was Bet, Ford's well, Betty wife Ford had a real problem, Betty. and she solved it, and uh, she, got, she did. She, she did well clinic. by it, you know. She, yeah, she had her own clinic, mm-hmm. uh, yeah. and she visited uh, on a regular basis. Yeah, right. I've always when wondered. When are we going to have a midget president? Yeah. <laughs> Sorry, you don't see. Yeah. You know, you're, you, you're not going to see many midgets anymore. Uh, or uh, dwarves, because uh, what happens is when kids are born and it looks like they have a propensity towards dwarfism, they hormone them up like crazy and they get them to a normal, a small height, kind of, you know, uh, on, on a par with Tom Cruise. Uh, they get them to that height <laughs> and, uh, you know, so you don't see as many of them any longer. Sorry, However, you do still yeah. see dwarves and I think they're fun. There's a couple of dwarves in, in my neighborhood who have a Great Dane, and they walk the Great Dane, and it's taller. It's like they're here, and the Great Dane is here. <laughs> it's hilarious. By the way, you know the difference between a dwarf, you, you know the difference between a dwarf I and a midget. You know the difference between a dwarf and a midget. This is not a joke, but the difference between a dwarf, dwarf and a midget. Midgets are proportionate. Dwarves yeah. have a normal body, and short legs. Yeah. yeah. When my granddaughter, uh, which one? Hobbits. When my, is a when my granddaughter, uh, Kayla, was a little kid, everywhere she would go, she would meet midgets, you know, just about everywhere she went. I had never seen a midget until this <laughs> kid came to live with us. It was amazing. You had a midget in your house? A midget magnet. No, no, no. She, she was a midget magnet. I mean, oh. we. We'd go to the grocery store, and one of the girls checking out was a midget. She was on a little box and to get up to the register. Or we'd, you know, we'd, we'd go somewhere to see a movie, and then a midget would come into the theater to see the same movie. It was, it was really kind of freaky. She was a midget magnet. like movies, too. A midget magnet. 
Of course, you now, ever watch the roll-offs? <laughs> no. <laughs> but, uh, you know, she that was walked, hilarious. She went into dwarf tossing, I understand, as she got older. <laughs> dwarf bullying? Yeah. Well, there was a sport. There was a sport in, yeah. uh, in England or called or dwarf tossing. South. They they yeah. banned it, but you know, then it put all those dwarves out of work. Yeah, just because that guy <laughs> Villache, uh passed away. Now you guys are all uh, on top of these dwarfs. Well, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. You got you got like uh, you, you've had some pretty great actors as who are dwarves. Uh, Peter Dinklage is no is terrific. Well, actually, uh, and there was another it, one. There was another one. I'm trying to think is, of. Is, is not a dwarf. He's got some other kind of condition. No, he's, there was no, that guy he's, who was on the Wild Wild West. He's a dwarf. Yeah. Well, the guy who's on Wild Wild the West. Peter Dinklage of his time was another his another great actor. Actually, Billy. Uh, Billy. Uh, well, there's Billy again. Barty. Yeah, you know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hollywood for years. Yeah, but, but uh, and then there's Mini Me. <clears throat> well, he died. Yeah. He died recently. Yeah, he died. Yeah, he died. If you, you know, he lived uh, just thirty miles from from me and fifty miles uh, from Scott. Yeah, That'll you know? kill you. <laughs> yeah, but he, but uh, but uh, you know, um, uh, dwarves are fun. <laughs> <laughs> Have yeah. you thrown a few? <laughs> mi- mi- well, I mean, and the difference between a midget is that Dinklage is a midget, and Tom Cruise is a dwarf. <laughs> hey, excuse me, excuse me. Peter Dinklage is a dwarf, not, and not a Tom Cruise is a midget. Tom Cruise is a midget. Yeah. yeah. How tall is Tom Cruise? He's five I, foot four. Five four. Yeah. I was going to say yeah, five. That's five. not a midget. I'd a say midget. I'd say that's stunted growth. Yeah. You know, it's well, funny. Well, according it's funny. to some of the women he dated, he wasn't a midget where it counted. Really? But he dated women. Um. I heard he's gay. Yeah, I heard he's gay. They're I never all gay. Yeah. 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 I think you know, he's Well, that brought this whole discussion to a grinding halt. I mean, every everybody I know who's gay like says Tom Cruise is definitely gay. But Why do why do you think John Travolta is? Why do you think why do you why do you, why do you think both of them go to Scientology? Because Scientology supposedly can cure you of being gay. That's right. Yeah. Electroshock. They're it's working be- on that. Your e meter uh, thing has to get fixed. Yeah. yeah, yeah. yeah. It's a- what did you guys think of the trouble the Jehovah's Witnesses got into last week? Ooh. Oh, what trouble? yeah. Like the Catholic thing? Yeah. Really? $34 yeah. was the settlement. How much? $34 million uh, for the Jehovah's Witness denomination because of. Uh, M- uh, molestation? Molestation, and the funny thing is, they do not have a paid clergy. They How much fund- are the Catholics going to have to pay? Well, the Pope paid, paid a collection paid. big. Yeah, have they paid already? Uh, you know, I guess there's there's uh, there's hundreds and hundreds of outstanding no, cases. Well, Boston paid a bunch. I know Dallas paid a bunch. Uh, uh, like twenty years ago, they paid like thirty four million. They had to sell a lot of buildings and stuff. So they all pay in, you know, in their district or whatever it's called. Uh, diocese. Diocese. Yeah, there you go. Thank well, you. I, I, knew, I knew that, but I forgot it. You're a Catholic. How come you didn't know that? Well, there's parishes and dioceses and, and I don't know, continents and whatever. Really? When, are they, when are the Jews going to get into this? Into what? Oh, yeah. uh, into, you know, a little bit of molestation. You know? Oh, they're doing it. Yeah. I'm wondering. You never hear about that. You never hear, yeah. Because they don't drink, so so they don't get to the point, you know, where they can just do it. Yeah, wait. Because I bet most of these guys are drunk when they do it. Think so? Well, wait a minute. We got, got two people of the tribe on the panel. Three, three. Oh, that's right. I, I you know, that's like someone said about me. He said I used to know a guy uh, that was black, but then I met Jack Bishop, and I knew two. <laughs> uh, but. Uh, I had something I thought that was going to be funny as hell, but they didn't work. <laughs> just ran well, off. Was the it track. some kind of rampant Jew joke? Yeah, I don't do any rampant Jew jokes anymore. Not since that thing that happened with, uh, you know, what's your name? Of course, the best Jew Amy? joke is and two, Frank? Ju- two Jews. No. Two Jews walk into a bar and, and Frank. <laughs> two Jews walk into a bar. Okay, that was good, Phil. And they and they buy it. <laughs> <laughs> hey, Jack, are you Jewish? 
not according to this <clears throat> DNA stuff that I'm. Uh, oh, okay. Aren't you related to Sammy Davis? No, oh, no God. I, got, I got two good eyes. Uh, <laughs> Who loves you? I, I tell you, the big shock for me was uh, finding out. Uh, uh, you know, so I, I've done both of those DNA services. Yeah. Mm -hmm. What shocked me was finding out that I was almost twenty percent Scotch Irish. Really? Yeah. I knew it. <laughs> now, well, I should have known it too. That as much as my old man likes scotch, but but that was another joke. But Jack doesn't drink, <laughs> you know. Oh, yeah, yeah. My daddy would be very upset with me if he knew I didn't drink. So anyway, we've. I think. Uh, what do we learn tonight? We've learned that Brett Kavanaugh is a, Kavanaugh is a sleaze bag. I don't uh, think so. Uh, yeah, yeah. You know. Uh, one seventh of this group doesn't agree with you. I bet if you met him, you'd nope. hate him. I hey, bet Alex. if you met him, you'd hate him. Alex, did you hear what uh, Brett Kavanaugh's nickname was in, in high school? Douchebag? No, it was Bart because some teacher kept calling him Bart instead of Brett, so everybody called him Bart O'Kavanaugh in high school. Bart no, O'Kavanaugh? No, that, that, that was that judge guy who used that fictitious name. No, no, that was his nickname in high school. They even have letters that Brett Kavanaugh sent, and he would sign Bart to it. F, 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 Bart. Maybe he couldn't spell. Yeah, yeah, he couldn't spell <laughs> yeah. his By the name. way, uh, what That's is it. the word boofy mean? He is mean? guilty as hell, Phil. Oof, and if you don't, I think it's okay if you don't believe it. He's guilty as hell, and he'll get it. He'll get elected. He'll get nominated. He hey, he will be on the Supreme boof, Court. Boof in he'll French. Be happy and you'll boof have a pervert to sit next to Clarence. Uh, to answer your question, I believe "boof" in French means beef. And there was a great Frenchman that passed away this week, Charles Aznavour. Uh, Aznavour. I, I loved his music. Aznavour. What the hell? You loved his music. Name a song yeah. he wrote. Um, uh, they're in French, but uh, I have a CD at work, <laughs> and I play it all day long. Dude, we're well, never, not all day long. You were never a de bouffe la musique. <clears throat> yeah. Hey, hey, yeah. um, I have one. Can I say one thing about? I actually agree that probably Kavanaugh is not an asshole anymore. I grew. I I was in a fraternity where there were a bunch of Kavanaughs, and I know these guys now, and they're totally upstanding guys. Oh, okay. But. If they had to report on the shit they did in college, they'd all probably lie, because it was uh, it was up there, right? The same kind I of crap. I bet there are a lot of parents and, right now giving their sons a talk to about be careful what you do right now because it could come back to haunt you someday. Oh, you yeah. know, and uh, it, you know, all I'm saying is that what makes this job different than any other is number one, it's a lifetime appointment. And number two, and I, that, that's the least of it, it is something in which somebody is sitting in judge of other people. And if you're going to sit in judge of other people, you better be pretty terrific yourself, you know, uh, because uh, it just is, it doesn't play well, okay? Uh, and, uh, uh, you know, I, I, just, uh, I, I just think that that's... That's the sum total of this. And I think that any amount of scrutiny that goes into a person who's up for a job on the Supreme Court uh, is, uh, is justified. You know, I have uh, no, we'll, no problem we'll see with if it he's guilty all. or if, if they expose some sort of malfeasance in his, uh, in his early years. And, uh, and that, if they uh, do, if they do, Phil, will you? If they do, then he's not qualified. Okay. Good. Oh, I wish How I about if we that. also find out he lied? It, it is. How about if we found out he lied under testimony to some things? That's a crime, and I and I would hope that they prosecute him. He loses his uh, his position in, in the lower okay. court. Well, and, we're, we're uh, all hoping for that. Uh, Scott, thank you so much tonight. Thank you, Ray. Thank you, Kevin. Thank you, Phil. Thank you, Jeff. Thank you. Thanks to uh, uh, Jack SG. Bishop, who's on next with the intersection, and SG, who joined us, and Tony. All yeah. of which, 
All of and which Tony left Stork. us before and the Tony show Storks, was over. Right. And Tony's <laughs> dog, yeah. Everybody, uh, give a big a wave goodbye to the folks out there, okay? There they go. That's the Citizens Panel. They look great. They look uh, terrific. Uh, sorry for my Skype uh, screwing up a little bit. We'll see what we can do to fix it. Who knows if we will, uh, because I, uh, uh, I, I just don't... Uh, think it's just it's skype i hate these people i hate them hey listen jack's next after that at one o'clock is connections tomorrow night at 8 30 uh it's the franchise mc he's going to do a sports show called the arena and then right after that is uh damian chaplin with the exchange followed by moi at 10 o'clock same time same station in life in the meantime if you see her yeah you tell her i love her okay bye